Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. There's a link in the description to my website where you can search through all my videos. I've done, I've been doing videos for 15 years now on programming, a lot on Doom. So you can always search through here and see some of my Doom videos. Right now we're working on some Zscript. Now go also to a link in the description of the video. Check out the full playlist because this is a playlist, video 20, I believe. And um, in it you can follow along. I, I recommend going back and watching some of the earlier videos, but I have all the code, all the examples from all the videos in this playlist up on a GitLab project. There's a link in the description of you. Today, we're going to be looking at examples and come down here to uh, light adjust uh, zero one. And our videos have been getting complex lately with the code. I'm trying to keep things simple, uh, but also bring in more advanced stuff. We're going to go a little simpler today. So let's go ahead and just run the current directory and then we'll look at it. So what I'm saying here is run gz doom, what file, dot. Dot just means the current directory. Uh, I load up doom2 and I'm warping to level one. And there we go, it's, it's very dark in here. Uh, everywhere it's very dark. So we'll look at the code in a second. I also wanna simplify things for you if you're just jumping in here and I've mentioned this previous, previous videos, all you need to do is once you're in the directory with the code is gz doom dash file dot. Uh, the rest of that code is just so that I don't have to come up to this dialogue and say yes, Doom 2, and then bring up the menu and then go into the game. It's just shortening things up. But again, things are very dark. Why is everything so dark? Uh, well, let's go into some code here. So don't let me forget to, we have two files. One of them is our Zscript file, which just has our version of Zscript and to include the lights uh, script. So now we're gonna look at the lights script. What is this gonna do? And again, you can download this code from the GitLab page. We are going to create a class. We're calling it, and this is a name we're making up. I'm just calling it my level post processor. Uh, could have called it uh, light adjustment, whatever I want to call it within reason. Don't put special characters in there like commas or dash. Well, I guess a dash would probably be okay. But uh, here we're going to say level post processor. What does that mean? This is a, a, a class. There's going to be functions in here that run as the level's being built. Like the game's starting, it's going to make some modifications as it's loading. Uh, and so we're going to uh, apply, we're gonna run this apply function. It should just know that this is going to run when the map's starting. What are we gonna do here? Well here, uh, I'm going for our current level, so the map we're on, look at all the sectors and get the size. The size is how many sectors. A sector is a room. Every single little step is a room. So, uh, but just think of sectors as room. Here it's looking at every single room. We're getting how many there are and we're putting it into a variable here. Then this for loop is just saying, loop through each one of those, go to each one of those. And for each one of those, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna set sector light I to 64, okay? Uh, so you know, let me simplify this even more for you. If I was to get rid of all this, so I'm doing this, I am commenting uh, out a lot of stuff. So anything that's in purple right now is not going to run as code. So here we're saying post process, Run when the level's starting. What are we gonna run? We're gonna apply the following. We're gonna say set sector, and then we can give it a sector number, okay? Each sector has its own number. And I know, just from playing around, that the first sector that you're standing in, in Doom 2, is sector seven. So here, oops, <laughs> I hit seven a couple of times. If I was to run this code now, I am pretty sure that all the sectors are gonna have regular lighting except for the sector I'm standing in, I have lowered the lighting to 64. So you can see it's dark just in this one sector because that's sector seven. And that's great if you know what the sector is numbered. Let me go ahead and set the light value. The light value will be a number between zero and 256. Uh, so, or 255 between zero and 256. So you can see, oh, now it's very dark in this one sector because this is sector seven. So I hope that makes sense. Right here, we are just saying, set sector lighting for sector seven to whatever value, right? And we can set it to 255. And if we were going there now, now this first sector is gonna be super bright. See, it's like daytime, right? In this one sector, not over here, or over there, but just in this one little room. So now we're gonna go back in here and we're going to uncomment this line, this line, and this line. And we're gonna change this seven to I. So what's this gonna do now? Again, 
we're getting the number of sectors, the number of room. Then we're going to say loop through each sector. And each, so we're going to get the number for each sector. And we're going to put in a variable i. So here, we're still saying set sector lighting for which sector? Well, it's going to go through each one and put the number for each one. And we're setting them all to 255. So now if I was to run this, every single room is going to be as bright as it can be. Look at that. Look how bright it is. There's no shadows or anything like that. Well, Doom doesn't really have shadows, but you fake it by setting up sectors with different lighting. So everything's super bright. And if I was to do the same thing, but change this to, again, a low number. I mean, I, I could put zero. Let's go ahead and put zero. It's going to be, every sector is going to be as dark as it can be. And we're just, you can, I don't even know if that's going to come up in the recording. I can see my hand a little bit. Hopefully you can see it, but it's, it's as dark as it's allowed to go for every single sector. So that's great, we can set individual values, but how about this? I am going to add another line here. I'm gonna create a variable and I'm saying let, I probably should say int. Uh, let is just a way of saying, create a variable and set that variable to the type because there's different variable types uh, to whatever you're passing it. Uh, but I'm saying LL here and LL is just what I'm calling the variable for light level. So again, we're looping through here, and then we're gonna look at the level sector, which sector, sector I. So again, we're looping through each one. So for each sector, we're going to get its light level. So whatever the light level currently is, we're saying it's a variable LL. So what, what can we do with that now? Now we can come in here and we can say, instead of just saying a hard value, we can say, take whatever value it's at and add or subtract to it. So I can say, subtract. 64. So whatever value the light's at, we're going to subtract 64 from it. So we're going to make every room a little bit darker. Right? So oh, every room's just a little bit darker. We can change that number instead of 64. We can say 32. So now it's going to be darker, but not quite as dark. So really bright rooms are going to be a little, little darker. Uh, but not quite as dark. If we were to come through here, you can see it's it's not super dark in there, but it's darker than it originally was. We can also make each room lighter. So we can say plus 64. So now, again, it's looping through each sector, each room, and taking whatever the light value currently is and making it slightly brighter. But you can still see, the, like you look up the ceiling there, you can see the difference in those sector, sectors going up the step. That's how they fake uh, light in original Doom is by making sectors different values. So they still have separate values. So you can see, you can differ, differ, you can tell the difference. I'm having trouble with that word today. Um, basically, we just made every room a little bit lighter. So I hope you found this useful. I hope that was a little bit simpler than previous videos and maybe broke down for loops a little bit better for people who are not used to them. I probably should have started with this because we've done a lot with for loops in previous videos and for loops are something you're going to do a lot in programming to loop through stuff, especially in a game. If you want to go through each wall texture, each object, each monster, each whatever you have, if you have a list of things, you're going to do a for loop to go through them. So again, uh, filmsbychris.com. Also check out the link in the description to the project. And again, all you have to do to test out these codes is go to the project and then say clone. And if you're unfamiliar with Git, just say download the zip file, unzip it, go into the directory. And as it tells you right here, all you have to do is say G gzdoom-file dot. And we'll say to run, as long as you're in one of the folders under the example directory, so like this one here, it will run that code. And then you can just play around with it, mess it up. If you screw up the code completely, you can just download it again. Filmsbychris.com, I'm Chris. Check out the link in the description for the full playlist. I hope that you have a great day.